and look what I just got, a Google Nexus 5. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and first impressions hands-on of the first Android 4.4 KitKat phone. Okay, let's get to it. First, take it out of the box, hence the word unboxing. Oh, and we take it out and we see there's a lot of dust on it. So I'm gonna get my trusty dust wiper. Alright, take that off. But you know, let's get it out of the box. So before we get to that, let's just let you know what's inside of the box. Of course, we've got this little paper that reveals the manual instructions for how to insert a SIM card and all that. More manual warranty stuff. Then you've got your charger, typical LG plug and it. And then of course the micro USB uh, standard. And that's pretty much it. So now let's get back to the phone. In case anyone asks you, it'll be very clear that this is a Nexus device. It has the logo proudly displayed on the back, as well as some FCC information. And uh, the material feels really nice. Uh, it's similar to the Nexus 7, not exactly. This one's a little bit smoother. It's a plastic, but not a glossy plastic. It has a very nice feel to it. On the right hand side, you have a power button, as well as your uh, micro SIM slot, or SIM slot. Uh, volume up and down buttons on the left hand side at the top you have your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the bottom of course you have your charging port as well as uh, dual speakers on the bottom uh, also you'll notice that the camera is very big and it's right here it's got the LED flash but it has an 8 megapixel lens with optical image stabilization then that's going to be important because OIS allows your photos to have less blur they it helps at low light photography especially in nighttime so I'm going to do a couple of tests I'm actually going to do that as soon as I finish this uh, so in the meantime, you guys can just take a quick look at this and uh, let me know if you have any questions while I go do my camera test. But before I do that, uh, allow me to power this bad boy up. And once I get it on, I'm able to see the very first Android KitKat phone. And you'll see some big changes. Obviously, I've got the camera down at the bottom. I can swipe up to access that or I can just swipe to get to the home screen. And then once I'm there, notice how the apps are, the app icons are significantly bigger than they have been in the past. Right now, I've got pretty much all of my Google apps loaded up. Uh, and I go home and to see the notification bar is uh, transparent along the top. When I drag it down, it's the same that I've seen before. I can press down with two fingers all of that and tap right here to get to the next screen. Pull down with two fingers to get to that screen directly. But something that's interesting is when you swipe all the way to the left, now you've got Google Now on your home screen. And of course, you can uh, personalize that by going to the settings uh, and customizing what appears in Google Now. But you can have everything from your travel arrangements, notifications, weather, uh, shipping uh, uh, notifications to stay up to date with what's going on around you. Just scroll all the way to the bottom, tap the customize button, and then you can choose what's gonna appear. So this is a quick look at the Nexus 5. And I gotta say, in terms of hardware, I really like the external feel of it. It's light. Uh, I like the texture of the device. So I'm gonna go play around with the camera. I'm gonna go load up some of my apps and I'll do a full review uh, later on. But for now, this is just first impressions. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll do my best to try to answer them tomorrow.